हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल एंड वेलकम टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सीरीज एंड टुडे विल बी गोइंग टू द स्ट्रिंग पैलिंड्रोम प्रॉब्लम सो अ पैलिंड्रोम इज अ नंबर अ स्ट्रिंग और अ वर्ड व्हिच आइदर रेड फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग और फ्रॉम एंड इट रीड्स द सेम सो इफ यू कैन सी हियर आई हैव ए बी बी ए सो इफ वी रीड इट फ्रॉम द स्टार्टिंग और फ्रॉम द एंड इट इज द सेम so before starting today's video i would like to say that if you are new to this channel then consider subscribing because it motivates me to make more content like this one so we will be solving this problem by three methods so first start with without using the array methods then we'll go through with using the array method and there will be a one more bonus solution for this question so without using array method let's first define a function for palindrome and it will take the string which we want to reverse as an argument start with a empty string that is reverse so the process of finding out the palindrome is simple we will just have two steps first would be reversing the string and then we'll check if the original string and the reverse string are same then it means that it is a palindrome so that is what we are going to do here so we will be reversing the string string similarly how we did in our previous string reversal video so we are defining a empty reversed string and we are concatenating each character of our original string to the start of empty string if we follow this way then it will give us a reverse string as output so the variable uh, which we have defined on line number 9 the reversed will at the end have a reversed value of the original string and then we are comparing it if the original string is similar to the reverse string then we are returning a true or else we are returning a false now in order to see this example in our console whether it is working or not we have to define a new string and we'll assign the palindrome function with the original string to a new string the value whatever is getting returned so either true or false would be getting returned from this function we are assigning it to the new string and then we'll output it in the console so here in order to format our output we are defining a input string so that it will show like mom is a true or false like if it is a palindrome or not okay so let's see the output in terminal now so as you can see it's displaying mom is a true if we change it to mother now and we can check if that is being returned as a palindrome or not so as you can see it is returning mother is a false so it is not a palindrome now moving on to our second solution that is using the array methods so here as well we'll follow two steps first is reversing the string and then comparing it with the original string so we can reverse the string using array methods in one line so we will define the split reverse and join in single line moving on to the second step we'll compare the original string with reverse string using the triple equal to sign and we'll return a true if they are equal or else we'll return a false now let's comment out the previous solution and if we take a look at the console now then the expected result is being displayed now let's move on to the third solution for the same problem so in this solution we'll match the values from starting and end index of the string and if they are similar till the till the mid of the string is reached then we'll get to know that it is a palindrome string or else it is not a palindrome string so for this purpose we'll take the original string and we'll split it to each character and then for every character we'll check if the character at the first index is equal to the character at last index so while we are increasing the index from the start we'll be decreasing the index from the end as well so that's it for today's video i hope you found this video informative and helpful if you did then don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one